780,000 new jobs were added. But tell us, you know, does this, in, in, in what way does this compensate for the number of jobs lost? Well, it's not enough, uh, honestly speaking. Uh, even our target of about um, a million, for instance, a year has not yet been reached. And even the PDP target of 2.4 to 2.8 million jobs have not been uh, achieved yet. Uh, this is because our unemployment rate is still high as of August. That's 8.1, and that translates to 3.9 million Filipinos, just close to the 4 million when we started in January this year. Okay, ma'am, let's talk uh, more about that. Where do these new jobs come from? You've mentioned, I think, earlier that it was from the construction sector. So are these jobs, you know, transitory? Or are these jobs going to be sustained um, throughout the, the pandemic? And are, are there updates on other sectors that can make us feel that this employment or additions to the employment figures might actually be sustainable in the long term? Yeah, actually, for the construction sector, uh, we call that project-based because it, the, the employment also ends when the duration of the project is finished. But uh, what, we, what we know with the construction sector, if, the, if, you, build, if you build the infrastructure uh, needed by the investments, then uh, it means also that more investments will come into the country when all our um, infrastructures are ready. Uh, transport, logistics, even um, telcos, so on and so forth, bridges, ports, so on. So it will uh, create additional jobs in other sectors. But for now, uh, we have to realize that the construction sector has already uh, generated about 4 million each year from the time that it started during this administration at about 2.9 to uh, 3 million. So that's good enough uh, source of our employment. For the other sector, um, in the nurse task force and ECHO project of a 1 million jobs project, coming from the private sector, we have made so far an initial dent in our 1 million job target, but I'm not going to uh, announce the, the figures yet. But mostly these are coming from uh, manufacturing, particularly okay. uh, electronic sector and semiconductors. Okay, so related also to our trade uh, figures here that the exports are picking up, uh, albeit a little bit slower than what analysts were hoping for. Ma'am, you mentioned 3.88 million people uh, unemployed in August, of course, but we did expect that, not necessarily this figure, but that there would be higher uh, unemployment than July due to the ECQ in the metro. Are you uh, disappointed with this figure or is it just in line with the estimates and how fast uh, is this uh, going to be recovered? We have already anticipated that the August labor force survey round will increase in terms of unemployment because of the hard lockdown again uh, during the August uh, month. But uh, moving forward, now that uh, there is already a change from the ECQ to certain uh, alert levels 1, 2, 3, and 4, and there's already granular lockdown, then we expect a better uh, scenario in terms of the labor market and more businesses will open, especially now that um, the election fever is already here. Uh, candidates have already filed their candidacy. We're also looking forward to uh, the Christmas or holiday season coming in. And also uh, the other bright spot would be, of course, uh, more people have been uh, vaccinated, so they are uh, more confident to go out uh, of their homes and go back to work. 